When you hit on us, know it's game time And you know me and my bros on the same time No breaks, green light No breaks, I got the green light When you hit on us, know it's game time And you know me and my bros on the same time No breaks, green light No breaks, I got the green We gon' tear it down, tear it down, tear it down, yeah We ain't going out, we ain't going in the town, no Money ain't the mission, no, we coming for the crown, yeah Yeah, yeah, we coming for the crown If we going out, then we going out loud, eh Putting on the show, young man, take a bow, eh Even under the pressure, they ain't never had doubt But if we gon' do it, gotta do it right now What's good, Giants fans? Your boy NYG back with another unpopular opinion. And today, I want to touch on the schedule release here a little bit. I'm not going to do a win-loss prediction as of right now. We might do that on uh, Sunday on Giants Conversation, um, me and the uh, Big Blue crew. So be on the lookout for that. But before I get into the schedule release, please do me a favor. Hit that like button for your boy. Please do that. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit the notification bell so you know when I'm dropping all new and popular opinions. Now, let's get into the schedule release here a little bit. Just going to kind of get my thoughts on the schedule itself. Let me pull this thing up here. Um, pause. <laughs> and, uh, and let's get into it here. So, now... Game one, you got the Minnesota Vikings. Now, the Vikings are... Eh, mm, quarterback, defense, mm, you know, they got the weapons. Hawkinson, Jordan Addison, Jay Jettas, yada, yada, yada. But, look. Home game, week one. You know, you should be expected to win that game. You should be. So that's a game that is favorable. Let's just do it like that. Favorable or non-favorable. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll give the official record prediction Sunday. I promise y'all that. So this one is favorable week two against washington very favorable we always beat washington rookie quarterback new head coach new o-line coach bobby johnson <laughs> do what you did to us to them that's only fair all right week three cleveland not favorable in cleveland with that defense, with that running game, that crowd going to be hyped. Not favorable. Week four, home, Thursday night. Cowboys, not favorable. And the reason I'm saying that, I know a lot of Giants fans is, you know, saying this is the year we get Dallas. This is the year, y'all. Well, it could be, you know. Now, I'm not giving an official prediction for this game. Like I said, not yet. But I'm saying it's not favorable. Short week, division opponent, and a team you struggle against matchup-wise. All right? So then you have the Seahawks. Got to fly out to Seattle the next week, play the Seahawks. Mm, Geno Smith. You got, you know, DK Metcalf and, and Lockett and all those cats over there. Pretty good offense, decent defense, um, 12th man. N not, not a favorable situation. You could get that one, though, but not a favorable situation. Um, the Bengals at home Sunday night, October 13th. Um, I actually think this one is favorable. I think this one is favorable because a couple reasons. One, the Bengals 
Tyler Boyd's not there. Now, I know people are like, well, they still got Higgins and Jamar Chase, but people underestimate, underestimate a guy like Tyler Boyd, you know. Um, also, to Joe Burrow, is he going to be right? Is he going to be right coming off the injury? Now, this game is a little bit towards kind of the middle of the season, so he might be hitting his stride at that particular time. But, you know, we all know what he's going to look like. You know, I don't know what that offensive line going to look like either for the Bengals. So we will see. I think it's a favorable matchup, to be honest with you. Next week, Philly. We got Philly in MetLife. Another favorable matchup. And the reason it's a favorable matchup is because, again, I always feel like the Giants, when Jalen Hurts plays the Giants, he looks like a different quarterback. I don't know what it is. Now, they've been able to win in spite of that most of these games he, uh, against him. But I, I remember recalling quite a few games where Jalen Hurts just looked not like himself. Um, combine that with the fact that you lost Kelsey. I'm talking about the Eagles. They lost Jason Kelsey and um, uh, Fletcher Cox over there, you know, it's going to be different. The Giants beat the brakes off Philly last year in the last game of the season. Um, so I think this is a matchup that is starting to kind of even out a little bit. You know, I don't see Philly just dominating uh, like they were before. So I think that's a favorable uh, matchup. Um, Steelers in Pittsburgh Monday night. Nah, I ain't feeling it. I just some about Pittsburgh. Playing in Pittsburgh with that defense, that crowd on a Monday night. You got Russ back there. Maybe he'll be the quarterback. Maybe it's Justin Fields. I don't know. Don't matter. That defense is legit. And, you know, until I see the Giants win some of these primetime games, they all pretty much going to be non-favorable to me unless you playing a cupcake team. You know what I'm saying? So, um. Speaking of cupcake teams, <laughs> the Commanders, again, um, this time it's going to be at home favorable. Definitely, definitely. Panthers in Germany, definitely favorable. Definitely favorable. Um, Brian Burns' revenge game hopefully gets after Bryce Young. Yeah, I like that matchup. Tampa in MetLife, I like this one too. I like this one too. Um, I know Tampa's got gotten us the better of us uh, the last few years, but 2019 Daniel Jones might might show out this time. <laughs> Remember that first game against Tampa, so he might show out this time. All right, Cowboys, Turkey Day, and Jerry Well. You already know that ain't a good that ain't a good situation. I ain't got to tell you, Giants fans, that ain't a good situation. Um, Saints at home, definitely favorable. Ravens at home, not favorable. That Ravens defense is sick, sick. Um, Falcons, you can beat the Falcons. I think anybody can beat the Falcons. I also think the Falcons can beat anybody. That's just a, a wishy-washy team right there. You know, we'll see what uh, Kirk Cousins is about. But I don't – ain't nobody scared of Atlanta. So I think that's a uh, that's a favorable game. The Colts, again, that's favorable. And then you finish um, in Philly. And we never win in Philly, seemingly. So I, I'm not – I'm not liking that matchup end of the season. Um, but if we get the first game, you know, all I'm asking for is a split. That's all I'm asking for. Split your division games, win most of your home games, at least five to six, because you got nine of them. So have a winning record at home and get a couple row, get the one in Germany and get a couple row wins. And you are, guess what? You can have nine wins. Let me break it down again. The Giants are playing nine home games this year. 
They should have eight road games, but remember, one of them is in Germany, which is a neutral site. So essentially, you're only playing seven true road games. So don't tell me you can't get two or three of them. You got nine home games. Can you get five, maybe six of those? Now you're looking at eight and nine wins. And that's the range that I got this team at right now. Between the seven, that's worst case scenario, and nine wins, I think, is being fair. You know, shout out to Lou, 11 and six. That's, that's kind of the like, okay, we didn't took the next step. We legit now. If we come out with that record, because that means you didn't beat some really, really good teams. But nine wins is real doable with this schedule, y'all. I'm telling you, real, real doable. But anyway, y'all, <laughs> that's my unpopular opinion. I want to hear yours. Leave your comments in the comment section below. And until next time, you know what it is. Peace.